Welcome to the world of robotic process automation. So here is what we will learn in today's video. What is RPA? Why do we need RPA? How is RPA different from other enterprise automation tools and its benefits? RPA's applications, a hands-on exercise on RPA and RPA's job trends. So let us begin with what is robotic process automation. Robotic process automation or RPA is the application of technology that allows employees in a company to configure computer software or a robot to capture and interpret existing applications for processing a transaction, manipulating data, triggering responses and communicating with other digital systems. So any company that uses labor on a large scale for general process work where people are performing high volume, high transactional process functions can boost their capabilities and save money and time with RPA software. Just as industrial robots are remaking the manufacturing industry by creating higher production rates and improved quality, RPA robots are revolutionizing the way we think about and administer business processes, ID support processes, workflow processes, remote infrastructure and back office work. RPA provides dramatic improvements in accuracy and cycle time and increased productivity in transaction processing while it elevates the nature of work by removing people from dull repetitive tasks. Now we'll look at why do we need RPA. So RPA can do almost any task that a knowledge worker does on a regular basis at a fraction of the cost and at a much faster rate and with almost zero error rate. RPA is the technology that successfully integrates the actions of a human interacting with digital systems to execute a business process. RPA robots utilize the interface to capture data and manipulate applications just like humans do. They interpret trigger responses and communicate with other systems to perform a vast variety of repetitive tasks. An RPA software robot never gets tired, makes zero mistakes and costs a lot less than an employee. Now we'll look at how RPA is different from other enterprise automation tools. So in contrast to other traditional ID solutions, RPA allows organizations to automate at a fraction of the cost and time previously needed. RPA is also non-intrusive in nature and leverages the existing infrastructure without causing disruption to underlying systems, which would be difficult and costly to replace. With RPA, cost efficiency and compliance are no longer an operating cost but a byproduct of the automation. So some of the benefits of RPA include it needs minimal upfront investment, it has no disruption to underlying systems, it is led by the business with support from IT, it is highly scalable bots adapt to changing business environment. Now we'll look at some of the RPA's applications. The technology of RPA can be applied specifically to a wide range of industries. Technologies like presentation layer automation software, a technology that mimics the steps of a rule-based non-subjective process without compromising the existing IT architecture, can consistently carry out prescribed functions and easily scale up or down to meet demand. Process automation can speed up back office tasks in finance, procurement, supply chain management, accounting, customer service, human resources including data entry, purchase order issuing, creation of online access credentials or business processes that require across the platform access to multiple existing systems. So automated processes in the remote management of IT infrastructures can consistently investigate and solve problems for faster process results. RPA can improve service disk operations and the monitoring of network devices. Separating scalability from human resources allows a company to handle short-term demand without extra recruiting or training. As invoice recognition software or automated online assistance, developments in how machines process language, retrieve information and structure basic content mean that RPA can provide answers to employees or customers in natural language rather than in software code. This technology can help to conserve resources for large call centers and for customer interaction centers. Now we'll head on to the demo part. So we'll be using the UiPath Studio to implement the demo. I'll click on blank and type out the project name. So I'll type out the project name to be test UiPath project. Now before I start recording, um, let me actually go ahead and uh, set up the Chrome extension. Right, so let me select Chrome over here and I'll add this to Chrome. Right, so now I'll hit recording and I'll select Citrix. 
and this is the form which I am trying to automate with the help of UI path. So I'll select click image. I'll envelope email over here. I'll hit enter. And then I'll select type and type out the email ID which is John Doe at the rate gmail.com. Again, I'll select click image, I'll select password, and I'll type out the password. Similarly, again, I'll select type, I'll click over here, and I'll type out the password again. All right, now I'll type out my first name. So my first name is John, and my last name is Doe. Now I'll type in some random number over here. Let's see, this is my primary phone number. Now it's time to hit in the address. So this is where I live. Now I'll select type and type in the city where I live. So I live in Seattle. Now for this, I'll select element, control and select item. So I'll select the item from this. And I'll select Washington. So now it's time to type in the zip address. Now again, I'll type the same billing address over here. I'll type the billing zip. Now let me go ahead and also type in the company name. Let's say I work for Venue Labs. And uh, this is my emergency contact, Mark. And this will be the emergency phone number. Now again, I'll select element, control, select item, and select the month that I was born in, which is June. I'll hit OK. Again, element, control, select item, time to select the D, which is 8. Next comes the year, which is 1991. Now I'll select control, select item. So how did I hear about them? Through a friend. Again, control, select item. I'll change this to Kentlands. Hit OK. Now I'll type out no over here. Now I'll select check and check this. Right. So what I'll do is I'll select image over here, hit on OK. Alright, so we have our info over here. And what I'll do is, I'll select sweep relative. I'll select all of this. I'll hit OK. So this is the script result preview over here. So I have the entire result over here, name, address, phone, everything. I'll click finish now. Now I'll save this. So this is our entire work which we did. So now let me open the same form again and let's hit run. Right, so now as we see over here, the form is getting filled automatically. Right, so everything is being filled automatically over here. Right, so we see everything is filled. If our location is selected, everything has been selected.
and since we had already created the username so this is what we get the username already exists right so this is what we did with the help of UiPath and this brings us to the end of this demo now let's look at the robotic process automation job trends so there is a huge demand for professionals with RPA skills for the next few years RPA will continue growing its presence in organizations environments across the industry spectrum due to the need for automating the work done by knowledge workers in today's digitally driven economy there is a huge shortage of RPA professionals the roles in RPA can be in the technical domain or functional domain the average salaries for RPA professionals can be around $130,000 per year now we have a basic idea of what is RPA what are its features and benefits and some of the key industries where RPA can be deployed to improve business processes and services so it is obvious that as RPA brings more technologically advanced solutions to businesses around the world operating models that adopt automation whether in-house or offshore will cut costs drive efficiency and improve overall quality and there is a huge demand for RPA professionals in the market currently so are you excited about a career in RPA if you want to fast track your career in this domain, join IntelliPath's RPA using UiPath training program. It will provide the best online classes to help you learn how RPA works, various design considerations of RPA, deploying UiPath tool for RPA, process of automating various workflows and Citrix automation of virtual applications. So thank you for watching the video and for any inquiries feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching the video. Do like and share it. If you have any questions, comment below and we'll respond to them as soon as possible. Also, do subscribe to IntelliPath channel so that you can keep yourself updated on the latest technologies. You can also go through other related videos in our playlist. And for more information, visit our website. Keep learning, keep improving.